it's Ashley Stories YouTube channel and this is Ashley Reads Bad Fan Fiction, hashtag my immortal, hashtag enemy, hashtag ebony, hashtag virility. I did a load of recording before and um, this is the next two chapters when we last left them. It was one of the most exciting chapters in the world. Enemy and Draco had sex in a car on top of a tree and she fell asleep during it and had a racist vision. So. <laughs> The best comments from episode 11 of Ashley Reads Bad Fan Fiction, here they are. Dino Goldie says, I'm a little confused, if not a little teapot. Is she saying Drano is that bad at doing sex that she fell asleep during the any business? Or is she telling us that Trego is that good at pumping that it makes her see visions on an astral plane? <laughs> Tabby Twitch says, I'm mostly confused by the whole concept of them having sex in a mercy bean stroke car on top of a tree. <laughs> Robert Rodriguez says, Heroin Cabaret is Hogsmeade's goth club, but only for the real goths. No preps, run by the twins, fatal and gloom. <laughs> Claire Forrest says, I'm sitting here at work on my break and I'm going to have to explain to my supervisor why I'm crying with laughter. Hashtag sweaty tits. If you want to send in a comment, do so down below. And it's story time. Chapter 26. Author note. Capital letters. Preps. Stop flamming the story, okay? If you do not like the story, then go fuck yourself. You fucking prep. You suck. Oh, why and I wasn't being racist, okay? <laughs> it's like she knows what my questions are going to be. Oh my god, please tell me we're not going to get into race. I don't know if I can cope if this becomes like a race issue. She said she wasn't being racist, so here's hoping. A few mutates later, a vampire came to the tree. He was wearing a black leather Jackson. Black leather Jackson? Black leather pants and a good Charlotte t-shirt. He must be sweating. Hi vampire, I said flirtily as I started to sob. Oh my god, are they going to have a threesome? As I started to sob, Draco hugged me sexily, triumphed to comfort me. I started to cry, tears of blood, and then told him what had happened. Oh fuck it, vampire shouted angrily. He started to cry sadly. What fucking dick did that? I don't know, I said. Now come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into the castle. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said, while he whipped some tears from his white face. Anybody had a vision in a dream. Dumbledore started to cockle. <laughs> and how do you expect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I glared at Dumbledore. Look, motherfucker. He said angrily as Dumbledore gasped. Author note. See? Is that toot of cracter? Is that toot of cracter? End author note. You know very well that I'm not decisional. Now get some fucking people out there to look for serious and lucian. Pornto. Pornto. Not pronto. Pornto. <laughs> Pornto. Okay, he said in an intimated voice. Where are they? I thought about it. Then all of a sudden, dot, 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 dot. London, I said. I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going out looking for them. And after a while, someone called him again. He said they had been found. Draco, Vampire and I all left to our rooms together. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. We looked at each other's gothic, depressed eyes. Then we kissed. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in on stretchers and Professor Sinister was behind them. End chapter 26. Chapter 27. This chapter is called Vampires Will Never Hurt You. Author note. You know what? I don't give a fuck what you preps think about me. So stop flaming the fucking story, bitches. Thanks to Raven for your love and sport and help. I love you girls. So as I couldn't update, I was really depressed. 
and I had to go to hospital. Raven, you rock girl. Everyone in the room started to cry happily. I had saved them. Draco, Lucian, Sirius Bond Vampire all came to hug me. The nurse started to give them medicine. Come on, Enneby, said Professor Sinatra. Come on, Enneby. She was wearing a gothic black leather dress with a corset top and real vampire blood on it and fucking black platinum boots. I have to tell you the fucking perdition. I looked at Lucian, Seraphs, Drake and Vampire. They nodded. I smelled happily and went into a dark room. I had changed Professor Sinister, took out some black cards. She started to look into the black crucible ball. She said, dot 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 dot. It's important to note that the author claims to be a girl called Tara. She said, dot 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 dot, Tara, I see drag times are near, she said badly. She peered into the balls. You see, you must go back in time. Yes, time travel. She took out a time toner like Bloody Mary had. When Voldemort was in Hogwarts, Voldemort, before he became powerful, he got his hearth barking. Now. Do you think he would still become Volksmort if he was in love? I shook my head. You must go back in time and seduce him. It is the only way. If he is still evil then, you must kill him. You can come to my room tomorrow and you can do it. Okay, I said sadly. We did death's tough sin. I went outside again sadly. What fucking happened, asked Draco and Vampire? Yeah, what happened? Asked Darkness Willow and Boldy Mary. I was about to tell them, but everyone was there. They were celebrating Lucian and Sirius being fond. Everyone was proud of me, but I just wanted to talk to Draco. They were cheesing my name, and some reporters were there, trying to interview Dumbledore. A banner was put up. Lots of fucking preps were there, obviously trying to be gothic, wearing the him sign on their hands despite them not actually heard of him. Even Mr. Norris looked happy. A black and red cake had been brought out. Crab and Goik had set some fireworks in the shape of skulls from Weasley's Wizard Wises. I put on my invisibility cock with Vampire and Draco. We sneaked outside together. End of chapter 27. I think this is getting exciting, guys.